SpaceX is preparing for Starship Flight 9, with a notable shift in booster recovery strategy and a suite of technical upgrades aimed at resolving persistent issues from previous flights. The company has moved away from attempting a chopstick catch at Starbase and will instead direct Booster 14 to perform a controlled splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico. This approach prioritizes risk reduction and data collection, especially as engineers validate new hardware and software changes implemented since Flight 8. Booster 14 and Ship 35 were both transported to the Boca Chica launch pad earlier this month, with Ship 35 undergoing payload integration and final installations. After initial pad operations, SpaceX rolled Booster 14 back to the production site for additional checks, a move that delayed the launch window to no earlier than May 26, 2025. This decision followed standard protocol for addressing technical uncertainties discovered during pre-launch preparations. The most prominent change for Flight 9 involves the booster's end-of-mission profile. Rather than risking a tower catch with new or modified hardware, SpaceX will execute a landing burn and target a splashdown zone offshore. This method allows the team to gather data on booster performance during descent and landing without the added complexity and risk of the chopstick system. The company has followed a similar approach with previous super heavy boosters, typically retiring them after one or two flights. Ship 35 will follow a familiar trajectory, aiming for orbital velocity before attempting a controlled re-entry and ocean splashdown. Engineers have installed a redesigned heat shield with a new tile mounting system, addressing the tile loss and damage seen on earlier flights. The forward flaps have also been upgraded to improve atmospheric control and reduce the risk of hardware failure during high-stress phases of descent. Flight 9 brings several technical upgrades to the Raptor propulsion system. The engine bay and plumbing have been reworked to address instability caused by pressure fluctuations and flow disruptions. Improved vibration isolation for the gimbals and enhanced sensors are expected to provide more reliable engine control and better data for post-flight analysis. Importantly, some of the Raptor engines on this flight are flying for the third time, providing additional insights into reusability. A key objective for this flight is to demonstrate reliable relight capability for the Raptor vacuum engines, earlier attempts failed due to sensor issues and inconsistent fuel flow. Success in this area is essential for future missions requiring in-space maneuvers. The FAA has expanded the airspace closure for Flight 9, now covering parts of the Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Islands. The agency estimates that about 175 commercial flights will be affected, with a projected cost to airlines between $75,000 and $2.1 million. SpaceX worked with regulators to schedule the launch window outside peak air traffic periods, minimizing operational disruptions. The delay in the launch schedule allowed SpaceX to address technical findings and implement further safety checks. Flight 9's technical complexity requires precise coordination among engineering teams, regulatory authorities, and launch operations staff. Every phase, from tanking to splashdown, involves real-time decision-making and the flexibility to adapt to unexpected developments. The lessons learned from Flight 9 will advance the development of a reusable launch vehicles. By reusing engines, improving thermal protection, and refining landing procedures, SpaceX aims to reduce the cost of access to space and enable more ambitious missions. The success or failure of this flight will influence not only Starship's future, but also the trajectory of global heavy lift launch capabilities.